Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girls, those wrestling girls. It's Krista B with Queen PR. And we have one of the best people to ever do it in the sky, <laughs> on the floor, Jay. in the valley, everywhere. We got Ricky Ricochet with us. How are you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling great. We're here in WrestleMania in Hollywood, Los yeah. Angeles, baby. I'm feeling great. And this is the real interview because we had a run in earlier and we thought yeah. that we keep stopped. So, no, 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 not with us yet. Yeah, now we can talk. talk. Now we can talk. So, we just got finished talking with Ron, super amazing. Yeah. And we were just telling him, like, you guys are like Jack and Kobe. Like, yes, I love it. I love it. And you guys make it work. So, like, did you ever foresee you working with someone like Ron Strowman? Uh, well, I, I was just saying earlier, it's, it's so funny because we've known each other for, you know, four or five years now. But it's kind of funny why we didn't think to make this team four because it's kind of a no-brainer. It's kind of like a, a cheat code as far as like one of the most dominant, strong, like forceful guys, arguably in all of WWE ever. You know, along with along with one of the most agile, one of the most high-flying, Brazilian, like determined characters as well, arguably in all of WWE. So it's 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 kind of funny how we never thought about it before. And how a funny tweet made, like, maybe he didn't make that tweet, right? Maybe I wouldn't be in WrestleMania right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's that quick. So, but it's, it's just funny, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of weird how we didn't think about this team before, because it's kind of a no-brainer. Definitely a no-brainer. Styles, yeah. Can you tell about David Bowles and how you got these two Like, I'm sure Absolutely. they, like, launched you guys. And they're just like, I want to play with Prince Absolutely. Uh, but that's something that he and I both actually, one of our main, I guess, goals, causes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say, like, is to be an inspiration for the younger generation, for the, for the youth, like, because again, as someone who was a smaller kid growing up watching wrestling, it's like the land of the giant, the land of the Ross Roman, you know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. So, Again, with Rey Mysterio going to the Hall of Fame this year, that really lit a fire under me. Because obviously, I want to, you know, follow his footsteps. I want to, you know, do the things that Rey Mysterio. I want to do that. So now I can be an inspiration to children who may not think that they are able to, you know, capable to achieve these things. But I would let them know that it's absolutely possible. Especially if I can do it. Someone from Paducah, Kentucky, you know what I mean? Can can do it. Anyone can do it. And the same thing for Ron. I'm sure. He's got a lot of his reasons. Every time we're doing an interview or meet and greet or something, it's like, man, my kids watch you guys. My kids love you guys. You know, or on the streets, they're like, oh, my kid loves you. Like, so that, that's so important. So important. And then any chance we get a, to, to go to the Boys and Girls Club or do a make a or do a, anything that we can do with the youth, I think it's so important because they're the future, you know what I mean? So uh, I think that's important, especially with Ron and I. The, the superhero aspect of him being like an incredible Hulk or like Spider Man or, or whatever, I think it really helps the kids uh, connect with us. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, if you guys were in, during the, in the Addis era when we were watching it, yeah. me and my cousin and my brother have been doing this stuff too. Yeah, and Jeff Hardy. Like, How many times have yeah. you guys did Jeff Hardy up the couch? I, I, I've, I've tried. I've tried. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't tried. see it, actually. But. You know, I've definitely tried, but you know me, I'm scared. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to get a belt. So I'm uh, you know, not so much. <laughs> but what do you expect to be to your max for WrestleMania this year? Uh, I'm expecting for Braun and myself. So although we haven't been a team as long as these guys at the Alpha Academy or Street Club, we haven't been a team as long as those guys, but I feel with what he brings to the table and what I'm able to bring to the table, I think between the two of us, and again, the trust that we have between each other, because again, we've known, although we haven't been a team for long, we've known each other for years. So I think all the, the stuff that he brings, the stuff that I bring, I'm, I'm, I'm going into WrestleMania full confidence. I'm going to WrestleMania, like I got a monster in my corner, you know what I mean? It doesn't get any better than having to a monster in your corner. So I, I, I expect it for us to go in there and not only just, you know, dominate, but to go out with the Absolutely, and that's that on that. They're going to come out with the W. Make sure you watch WrestleMania all weekend. Make sure you tune into our platform because we will be putting this out everywhere. And thank you, Ricky Shane. No problem. Thank you guys so much.